All right, good morning, Wasteland. Mr. G rolling out of bed, bringing myself the coffee, you the cross out. And today we are going to discuss best weapons for brand new players and cross out disclaimer not best weapons in the blue or special category which is what we'll be looking at today is the blue and special category um i don't know why i said blue is special rare and special blue and whatever color that is turquoise i don't know i'm bad with colors um but we're going to talk about weapons for guys that are brand new to cross out you've got your starter build you finally got enough resources to craft your first blue maybe a special what do you go ahead and get so we've got these in five weapons we're going to talk about from number five all the way down to numero uno let's begin with number five which was my first rare weapon and cross out that's right the vector why do you want to get a vector well it's going to be versatile and then it's not going to require ammunition um, you're going to be able to use it in both pvp and in raids it's a kinetic weapon meaning that it's really easy to use. You just shoot, boom, 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 bullets. Um, it's going to be hit scan, making hitting your targets a lot easier. And it's going to be turreted 360 degrees. You can aim this thing. So it's going to make it pretty easy. You are going to want to remember to tap fire this thing. And yes, it is a heat-based weapon, so it will benefit from that white um, radiator that you were able to crank out. Um, so it's a good weapon for just starting out uh, right off the bat in game and yes it will work just fine with the breeze give you a little bit longer shooting time which is one of the first um, white uh, modules that new players can craft okay on to number four number four we've got the m37 piercer this is similar to the vector but it's going to do um a lot higher fire rate so these things put out stupid amount of damage um, they have the durability of wet toilet paper which is their downside and they have the range in between shotguns and uh, the vector machine gun so this is a mid to close range but this thing just spits bullets you are going to want to be tap firing with this and you're going to want to use it to just close in and strip the enemy's weapons off as soon as possible Okay, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, you're going to want to use a couple of these. Predominantly, you do see them on quick builds, fast builds, and occasionally wedge builds uh, similar to what you would see on a shotgun build. Um, however, we don't know how much longer it's going to be until they uh, try and really nerf the wedge mechanics. So I don't want to say, hey, only put it on a wedge. Coming in at number three, your first rare shotgun. That's right, the sledgehammer. Um, this thing's going to be really great for just doing damage and just chewing um, weapons right off your enemy. Um, they also work just fine in raids um, because you can just be running around, chasing those bots, shooting stuff off. Um, you're going to want to close in with your target because you're going to have to get fairly close to use these, but they really can outstrip your opponent. Just make sure that you have a vehicle that has a really tight turn radius with these and that you do armor them up a little bit. Um, you do predominantly see these on wedges right now because wedges are still big mechanic in game because you can flip your enemy and sometimes get underneath them so that you can shoot those juicy fuel tanks and or generators. Now next on our list coming in at number two, that's right, we have the mace shotgun which is essentially just an upgrade over the sledgehammer but this thing comes with a perk every 40 meters that the vehicle traverses the damage increases by 10 percent so take this thing out yep it's just going to be an upgraded version um, of the sledgehammer but you're really going to want to move with this one so the faster your build the better because this thing's perk does depend on the fact that you are moving but nothing really new to say there last but not least we're going to talk about number one best weapon for new players it is essentially an upgraded version of the vector that's right um, every hit you do increases this weapon's um, damage it stacks up to 10 times um, the sinus it works great in pvp it also works great in raids and it has a perk it's really easy to use it is hard to miss with this thing so just tap fire this thing stay at mid-range run a couple of these and you're going to be on your way to having a solid new player build 
and cross out. Let me know what you guys think the best builds are for new players in the comments. Now, yes, there are better rare and special weapons out there, but not for new players. I mean, I love the Wasp, but you're going to really want to have that on something like Hovers, and it's going to be fixed weapon. It's harder to mount an armor. So this video is simply for the brand newest of players in Crossout, so they can start out with weapons that are going to make them enjoy the game and easily master it and learn it before they get into trickier things like cannons, rockets, etc. Let me know though what you guys think in the comments. And as always, if you need uh, Crossout friends, check out the Discord. Links in the description. You want to buy G a coffee, I wouldn't say no to that. Patreon's down there as well. You guys be good. Take care of each other. Stay safe out there on the wasteland. I mean Earth. Uh, and I'm doing the jump. We're doing the jump! That was an underwhelming jump. Mr. G out. <laughs>